45 minutes, if that's okay, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, you guys have sold the product for a long time, so feel free to interrupt. I'm going to give, who has not uh, been selling UV or PCO products over the years? Everybody's selling them. Okay, good. So I'll do the uh, intermediate version of this class. I'm Ron Saunders. I'm with Fresh Air UV. I'm one of the owners of the company. Um, I've got Chuck Walsh here behind me. He's in training. So he's videotaping me, not you guys. So if you want the rights to the videotape for your own personal use, you can have it at no charge. So, um, so feel free, free to ask any questions. So uh, we're going to talk about Patriot, the Patriot UV, the Patriot PCO, and overall the general industry and opportunity that exists with indoor air quality. So um, IAQ is a billion dollar market. You know, you go to Publix, you walk through a whole aisle full of products that are meant to keep your house fresher and cleaner smelling. So people are buying these late plugins, they're for breezing everywhere, and all really that's doing is adding more pollutants into the air. So what we're trying to do with these products that you guys are offering for whole house solutions is to mitigate all of these bacteria, viruses, odors, VOCs. So you create a healthy home utilizing your central air conditioning system. So it is basically that simple. So um, UV has been around since the beginning of time. We actually don't have any here on the planet. If we did, we'd all be dead. So I'm waiting for the CSI episode that actually has the body inside of the air conditioning system and the UV light disintegrating it and affecting the DNA so that they can't discover who killed that person. I thought I'd see it on an episode of Dexter and it never <laughs> showed up. So. Um, but yeah, so UV has been around forever. It's uh, actually what we're creating with this product is a thousand times more UV that, that's on the surface of the sun. So we're creating the UVC spectrum, uh, which is the germicidal spectrum. There's a UVA, which is black light. So some of us are familiar with the posters back when. You know, we might have torched one up, but just one. UVB is what we get from suntan sunburn or whatever you might get. Uh, UVC is germicidal. So, um, and actually it affects the DNA of any microorganism. So anything will die. People always ask me, what about tuberculosis? What about, you know, that stuff that they sent in the mail last week <laughs> that was supposed to open? You know, what about uh, SARS and Ebola and all these things? UVC kills everything. It just needs enough time to kill any microorganisms. So with enough time, literally as little as 30 seconds, it can uh, sterilize any microorganisms. So UVC is awesome. Uh, the UV light spectrum is uh, invisible. So you see the color of the rainbow once in a while. You see the last color you'll see is violet. Remember Roy G. Biv? Somebody brought me up. Brought that up to me the other day. Does anybody remember that from high school? Oh, yeah, school. Yeah, well, green, green, green. Exactly, yep. Yeah. So Roy G. Biv, that's the color of the rainbow. The last is the violet. So then we get into the ultraviolet spectrum. That's what we can't see. So even though you get a blue light coming off of your Patriot UV, the blue is actually a byproduct of creating the invisible UVC. So uh, God could have made it anything. He decided to make that byproduct blue. So if you ever get a purple light, um, it's not pink for cancer awareness. It's, uh, it's actually a leakage of the light for the gases inside of it. So it leaks out. So it's kind of like a fluorescent light all of a sudden getting real dim. We've lost some of the energy inside. So, so Ron, uh, if, it's, if it's pink, does that mean it's defective? It needs to be replaced? It's defective and it needs to be replaced. Yeah, you got it. So some of our UV lights for mini splits that we make um, had the little pink happenings. Uh, those lights, yes, need to be replaced. So they need to be replaced. You need blue. Now you will see a dimming of the blue light. You will see a dimming of the UVC, which you won't see because I just told you it's invisible. But um, over time, you do lose your output of the UV light. So that's why, even though the light's still blue, it may not be emitting any UVC. So that's why we recommend, like an oil change, you replace the light every, what do you guys do, the one or two year product, or you do a mix? So if you have the two year warranted light, uh, that'll produce UVC to 60% of its original output. So you will actually almost have another year left of UVC, but you will start to lose 
the effectiveness of the product within the air conditioning system, within the airflow, and regarding the PCO, which I'll go into, you'll start to have odors come back in the house. So treat it like an oil change on a UV light, change out. And you can explain that to the homeowner. You don't cheat, you don't, you know, take our word for it, take the manufacturer's word for it, it starts to lose its output. Just like your oil does in your car, we change it out. We don't test it every time for viscosity, we just change it out based on manufacturer's recommendations. That's the best way to handle that. So if you all have those questions pop up. It's still lit, but only why do I need to replace it? So. Um, so the UV light that you guys are using is, you guys use the 24 volt and the 110, 277, right? Mm -hmm. So any questions on the power packs, the power supplies that you've had in the field? Everything good? Are you putting a transformer on with everyone on the 24 volt? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So no problems with the boards on the new equipment or anything like that? Everything's cool. Good. Perfect. There was an issue with that back when, when we didn't have transformers. Certain UV lights, not mine necessarily, but others would pull too much from the low voltage side of the transformer and it would affect the boards. So um, mine haven't had that problem, but if your rule of thumb is to in, in, uh, provide a se separate transformer, that's great. So, um, the package Patriot is simply our blue tubes, our APCOs, private labeled with the Patriot brand. Uh, my father um, was in Vietnam. Uh, Marine vet. So we decided, and my uncle is very active in charities for veterans up in uh, Baltimore, D.C. So what we decided to do was to create a brand that also provides uh, donations to uh, wounded warriors. Uh, in this case, it's warrior events. Awesome group. It's uh, people that have lost multiple appendages. It's to get them out, let them go to Baltimore Ravens games and Orioles games and all kinds of cool stuff in the Maryland D.C. area. So if you guys have a local charity that you want to be involved in, we will happily donate the proceeds of the Patriot sales to your charity. So we'll let you guys consider that. Um, anybody here in the room has something you're close to, feel free to bring it up to Kelly and Brian and uh, we'd be happy to do that. So I'm only donating it up there because, uh, you know, that's been our connection. And I know the guys that uh, that are involved in those events, so I can speak very well about our donations. So, um, but the Patriot is, uh, you, you see once in a while you'll find one online, it's a little hard because we've mandated you're not allowed to. So there was one guy, the rogue guy, that we finally got rid of him. So uh, he was able to, uh, we stopped selling him and advising the customer who was selling him to stop. So um, you shouldn't find any of these products online. If you do alert us right away at the factory, because we will mandate that they remove them from online. Because that's the hardest part sometimes, as you know. You guys are in there selling an IQ product, and they go, hey, dude, because we all do it. We all go to the store and go, man, I ain't paying 30 bucks for this. <laughs> Let me see what it's like on Amazon. So, and remember, every product you sell, because I had somebody yell at me one time, and dude, yours is online. And I'm like, all right, what product do you sell the most of? Oh, I don't know, maybe this, uh, but you know here's capacitor number. I'm like, all right, let's look it up. Here it is. Shoot, that's cheaper than what I pay for. So be aware that everything on this planet is available online. So having the Patriot does um, keep you guys away from, from uh, some of that uh, online. Profit disintegration. So, uh, any questions on UV in general? So, who uses UV in any other applications besides air conditioning? So, any of you have fish tanks? Okay. Yeah, right. Now, the newest one, it's pretty cool. It's a nurse's uh, station. They've got the, it looks like a scale that you weigh yourself on and they put their feet on it and the UV light scans the bottom of their shoes so they don't traipse around the hospital and spread MRSA, C. diff, and all the other hospital acquired infections that are causing hospitals to lose a whole bunch of revenues every year. So, um, We also are involved in a lot of hospital applications. One, they, they roll in a big bank of UV lights. It almost looks like a whole bunch of swords lit up uh, lightsabers. They roll them into hospital, hospital rooms to disinfect the rooms. So they'll have multiple towers, they'll irradiate for 30 minutes. 
you can't get in the room, obviously, because you would die eventually. At first, you'll just go blind. Not really go blind. You'll feel like you've got sand in your eyes really bad a couple hours later. <laughs> Who's had that? The singer and guys, <laughs> the little lady. <laughs> yeah, UV light um, will kill you. But first, it won't. It'll just go after your cornea, and, and it'll actually um, burn your cornea. It's not permanent, but it really feels bad eight hours later, as we know. So apparently, the only cure is uh, liquid cocaine, which they do have at hospitals. I don't recommend you find it on the streets. Go to the hospital for your liquid cocaine. Or uh, bourbon, lots of bourbon, apparently. Those are the only two s solutions for that. So. Apparently that works. Orally or? or uh, no, orally. <laughs> Anything that you choose. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the other thing that UV light will start to do is it will start to affect your skin. So it will uh, start to literally take off uh, your skin. So if you want your skin removed, uh, going under UV light for, you know, a couple days is a great way to do it. So, um, and then it will start to affect the rest of your organs. So UVC light, just like... Uh, it will do to other microbials. We're just <coughs> microbial, um, really big microbial. Uh, it will kill everything. So UVC light uh, for mold spores. Let's say you got mold in the corner of the room. You know, you have a bathroom leak, and you have mold spreading around the house. Will we kill mold that's spreading around the house? Yeah, we will. With enough time, mold usually finds its way to water sources, which is your air conditioning coil. So you will find moldy coils because of that moldy corner in the bathroom. Will we kill what's in the corner of the bathroom? No. So your source is still a problem. You've got to reconcile that. And remember, as air conditioning service professionals, you don't necessarily know whether it's mold, bacteria, or viruses. You just see signs of biological growth. So stick with that. That works every time. So how do you find microbial uh, bacterial growth or show your customer? How do you guys do it now? You should point it out on your phone or a flashlight. You, how do you point out to the customer that they've got biologicals? Keep the filters. Huh? How would you show them? You take a video or show it to them visually if I can. That's awesome. The other way too, another great way, and uh, you know, with your permission, is just to take a, a little rag or something, just to show what's in the drain pan, what's on the coil, and just go, we've got biological growth that appears. So I can keep this 99.9% .9 sterilized for you forever. We just change out the light every two to three years. So uh, homeowners are much more aware of biological growth and the spread of bacteria and viruses through their home. So, and this time of year, kids all go back to school, everyone gets sick. With the recent storms we've had, great time to bring up into rare quality products like UV. Um, UV is used uh, in uh, a lot of water applications. So you do have your fish tanks, your koi ponds. Uh, it's used in water, wastewater treatment. Um, there's anybody going yeah. camping. Uh, if you see that freshwater stream and you go, oh man, that looks really good. I'm really thirsty. Well, you know, instead of taking your glass and chugging the water down and not knowing there's a dead critter up the stream, um, there's a little light, it's called a SteraPen. You actually can uh, irradiate UV into a glass of water for a minute, and it completely sterilizes the water inside. So, um, a lot of little gadgets on UV. There's one, it's a ladies' compact mirror. So, it's used for keyboards and door handles. So, but if you're a single guy at a bar and a lady goes, get out of here, <laughs> and then, you know, she doesn't want you to You guys sell that pen you're talking about? We don't. Amazon. <laughs> so, but uh, it is pretty cool though. So, and they work. So it's awesome. Uh, they're using them for uh, a lot of beds and beds applications. You know, where you want to, you know, disinfect uh, uh, mattresses, things like that. That's another application. There's one though that doesn't work. It's on late at night. You can't sleep because you're in your 50s, like I am now. Um, it's a vacuum cleaner, and it's got a UV light built into it. So, and they show the lady, and they show the UV light underneath. For it to actually work, you have to vacuum like this. Because you need enough time. So, so I don't have that much time. 
So, uh, yeah, UV light's about time. Speaking of that, um, if you could just cover for some of these guys are a little bit more versed than others, but the application inside the air handler, is there a preferred location? Where should go? Where shouldn't it go? Where's the most effective? Can you touch on that point? Yeah, and really it depends on you guys because you'll see the application. Certain air conditioning systems, the buildup is on the return more than the supply. It all has to do with the dew point and the pressure drop across the coil. So um, predominantly, we would say, in the supplies uh, is where you're better off having a single length. But um, you might determine that there's more growth on the return side, so you stick it inside of the A-plate. The product can mount anywhere. So if you're not sure and they've got an issue, then do a dual or sell two. One for the return, one for the supply. We do make little shields. We don't offer them as a standard in the product, but it's an accessory. So under the A-coil, you can have a light and you can have a shield here so you won't affect what's underneath that light, uh, whether it's carpeting or a filter or what have you that may not be EVC resistant. So, um, but yeah, there's benefits to keeping it up by the blower wheel as well. So um, really wherever you guys have, you know, when you review an application, you're there for a cooling heat, cooling heat call, but really what you're there to is provide comfort solutions. So look at the unit, decide where the best place for the UV is. It will free mount anywhere. We used to have problems with UV lights affecting the insides of air conditioning systems and the components inside. Uh, most of that's gone away. All the equipment manufacturers back in 2005 went with UVC resistant materials. So if you're good. Except for? Except for? Mitsubishi. No Mitsubishi products are UV rated. None of them. So here's the thing about Mitsubishi. Okay? Because we worked with them for four years. I'm very uh, close to Chuck Appleby, who is their director of engineering. The local Mitsubishi guys will say that they don't want our mini UVs inside of their equipment. What they don't know is that corporate engineering in Atlanta approved our UV light for their mini splits. Only our mini UVs, the little ones the size of pencils. The problem is you have to call Chuck Appleby to have him tell you that. The local guys all say no UV because it comes from Japan. So, yeah, all the Mitsubishi stuff I've been to, any of the air handlers, anything, none of them are UV rated. <coughs> but the mini splits, we can do it on the mini splits. We can do it on the mini splits. Yeah. All right. So, um, so any other questions on just UV? Another question. Sure. I know a lot of the products used to come with like a little alcohol wipe in case you got fingerprints on the bulb. Yeah. You guys don't. Is that because you're into so, it? Or? No. So what um, that is is the way the glass is manufactured. So if you use a soft quartz glass, then yes, the greases from your fingers can absolutely affect the glass itself. Because it's soft glass under a microscope, it kind of looks like this. So what happens is the greases from your fingers get inside, very similar to an halogen lamp that you use on the front of your car. So what happens is, is um, the greases get inside and the mercury vapor that's inside um, solidifies to the glass. So you lose the vapor, which you need to excite the light, basically. So that's back when, if you have a soft quartz glass, you always would have swabs inside. We've always used a hard quartz glass. So you don't have to have any worries about your greases on your fingers. So when I hand people a light, which I will do right now. So when I'm doing a training, I hand a light like this. And it's hilarious to watch the people not want to touch it. Because they're afraid they're going to ruin it. Right. So they just try to grab my hand, and I just keep playing with them. Because, and then finally they grab the glass. So This is a hard quartz. Whether it's our one-year or two-year lamp, they're all hard quartz. So you don't need a swab. You don't need anything to wipe them. So, good question. So, um, Does the other competition use soft? Or? Uh, sometimes. And when they do, they will have in their instruction manuals, like Honeywell used to have, is every three months, they want you to go in there and wipe the glass of any particulate in the air or any um, water. They'll want you to wipe that free. So no one would do that <laughs> every three months to wipe their glass, their, their UV light. So, um, but yeah, so if they don't come with a swab, they don't come with a manual that says you got to wipe it, they're likely hard for
We've always used hard quartz. Hard quartz is what they use in water, obviously, because if they use soft quartz in water, obviously they've got humidity there. But do um, they have a blade? Oh. Are you doing any of the Afro mags? That was going to be my question for you at the end. I have a 24 volt UV light, and I recently got a dog, and now my house smells like dog. So I don't have my my unit is sitting on top of a water heater, and I have no uh, plenum at the top of there. Anymore. So could I put that on my 24 volt UV light, and will it help with odors? Can someone else answer that question? Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. And you know what? That's the perfect thing to do. If you guys see anybody's UV light in the market, when you go to a home and they already have a UV light installed, upgrade them to the Apco Mag for odor control. I asked the question for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that this is a great product to upgrade. So any UV light, it doesn't even have to be mine. As long as they have this scallop base, which is a lot of the industry, because the one thing we should have patented was that stupid Z bracket, because that's what everybody copied. So this is your application, and it works perfectly. So you can take any light out in the field, and then buy an Apco Mag upgrade kit. And now you've, for a lifetime, included odor removal on their existing UV light system. And that's what I really want to stress with APCO, or the Patriot PCO here, is we guarantee these for a lifetime. There's not a warranty. It's unlimited lifetime guarantee that it will perform. The only thing you have to replace is the light every two to three years, depending on the warranty. A lifetime guarantee. We don't ask any questions on returns, which means you guys can offer that. That's up to your company, how you do it for installation purposes. But for the product itself, guaranteed forever. So if a homeowner calls us and says, hey, I bought this system, what's the guarantee? Forever. And they go, well, that's not what I was told. Well, actually read your manual. It says lifetime guarantee on it and lifetime warranty on all parts except lamp. And we're proud enough to put that on most of our literature. I, I said most because I didn't know if it was on the Patreon. But you can absolutely offer it, that it's a guaranteed lifetime performance. So the only thing we've really done with the APCO uh, compared to a regular UV light is added two components. One you see, one's invisible. The one you see is the activated carbon cells. Anybody used activated carbon in your life before? What was your application? Orange. Gotcha. It's a great way to absorb any odors, chemicals in the air. The only problem with activated carbon is it does load up. And once it loads up, basically every portion of this product gets absorbs molecules of chemicals and odors. And once they're absorbed, they, they lose that space. They lose that acreage, uh, that area. So therefore, there's no other way anything else can attach itself to the activated carbon. So what happens with most activated carbon filters in the market is once they load up, all of a sudden the smells all come back and you throw the filters away. Well, years ago, they didn't throw away as much as we do now. So what they did is they took the carbon filters and they took them on the roof and they actually let sunlight recharge the carbon. So what we've done is we've taken light and we put it right up against our cells here or in the ACCO. And the light will recharge the carbon cell with the help of titanium dioxide, which is the catalyst. So if you see PCO, it's photo is the P. C is the catalyst, which in this case is titanium dioxide. That reaction, that reaction removes odors and chemicals as well. So the UV light is going to kill any microorganisms captured here because it's got enough time and the reaction with the catalyst is going to remove all chemicals and odors from your air. So it's incredibly effective. It's been around since 2008. Including cigarette smell. So cigarette smell is an interesting one because cigarette smell is mostly due to particulates. So you ever see the um, things on TV where they show 
a box, full, clear glass box full of cigarettes smell. You see the smoke, right? And then they hit a button. Really what that does is it coagulates those particles in the air together, makes them heavy enough to fall to the ground. The smell's still there. But what you've done is remove the particulates. So a lot of cigarette smell is particulates. But we guarantee that we will remove cigarette, cigar, and pipe smoke from your air. Because we will remove the VOCs that, that occur from cigarettes. Right, but that, that's from the air, and I think that's from the air. Discussion. If it's embedded yeah. into the walls, furniture, carpet, whatever, yeah. this product can't, there's not any product that can do that. So yeah, the only thing, thing that like, can work for a lot of people is heavy duty ozone blasts. But you've got to clear out the house, you've got to be aware of paintings on the wall, you've got to be aware of your mother in law, or you can leave her in there. That's your decision. <laughs> uh, but you've got to be aware of a lot of things that ozone can ruin. So, but that's one way to remove uh, smoke from a home. They use it for years in fire flood restoration. The other way is, yeah, just paint those walls with oil-based paint is what we used to use. I don't know if they make that anymore. But um, yeah, so that cigarettes is a tough one for, from furniture and everything else. From the air. From the air itself. From the air, so the passing air. So. Um, so your activated carbon is basically a big collection plate. It absorbs it. And now your UV light removes your odors and chemicals through the reaction with the catalyst. The UV light kills all the germs that are collected on it because it's got enough time in front of the UV light. So that's how you get effective airborne treatment. Is a standard UV light an air purifier? No. It's a sterilization device of a surface. When you add in the PCO and the carbon, now you've created a whole house air purification system. So, will, it, will this UV light kill what passes in the air? A little bit, but it doesn't have time. That's why you need your activated carbon cells with enough time. So, we've been making this since 2008. We actually uh, honey, we make the product for Honeywell. Uh, for the last five years, they looked around at every air purification product on the market. They love APCO. It doesn't, uh, the APCO technology or Patriot PCO. What everybody really loves about APCO and the PCO Patriot is that it doesn't introduce any chemicals or odors into the air. We've all, we've all sold or been around an ozone or hydroperoxide device, like a Ficel Remy or something like that. Yeah. It introduces other, other things into the air. A lot of the world's not liking that because introducing other things into the air can be harmful to your health in, depending on the amount. So I know if you've put in one of those other devices, like we used to sell ozone products too, and we'd always have that one homeowner that would call and go, dude, what's going on here? This thing stinks, I'm getting headaches, get this out of here. So one thing about ozone um, is you will have to answer those questions. How much is okay for me? With Patriot PCO, you never have to answer that question. So that one produces no ozone. 100% absorption, no ozone. So, any questions on PCO or activated carbon? Who has one for their own house? One in the back? What do you think? Plug. Put it in 24 or 40 hours later, it's like, oh, there's something different now. Yes. Yeah. We have an employee. We have an employee form the uh, special pricing for employees. So get with me. So here's you guys get paid to Smith to sell these. Are you selling? Yes. <laughs> you guys all get paid to sell these, right? Yes. Okay. I'm a degree engineer, but I'm going to get real salesy on you really fast. Okay. I'm going to make a really good deal, better than the personal use that you have. You can buy it any time on the personal use form for, I think it's 145 bucks oh, for a PCI. Oh, 175 for the tool. 145 for a single. Today, if you decide to buy it by Friday, so you have three days to make a decision, I'm going to offer it for 100 bucks for a single. Okay, 125 for a dual. So almost $50 off. But here's why you need to do this. 
if you get paid to sell these, you should have one in your own home to experience it. If you like it, like two of our friends here, you will speak highly of it and you will sell more. Here's the thing, if you don't sell more, all right, if you buy one of these and don't sell more, you can send it back to me and I'll give you all your money back. So it's a guarantee for you that you will sell more. Can I get a copy of this thing? <laughs> and this is not a sample, it's going to be packaged, so I can't get this one. But make an investment in yourself. If you want to sell more of these, have one in your house. It always works. And then you have your own stories built in. Like, it worked in 24 hours, 48 hours. Great. That's great for him, but you don't have that story. So have the story. And make it personal. If you have kids with allergies. Yeah. It's great thing. Great. We installed, Kelly and I went to a woman's house out in Dallin, Iowa. We installed two of them. Her doctor recommended it. Her doctor, because of her allergies. Yeah. And it's a guaranteed performance. Chuck's six months with our company, like two days ago. And he's training to, to do what I'm doing up here right now. How many calls do we get from people who say it doesn't work? None. None. I don't know. How many of you guys returned because people say it didn't work? How many of your old gig did you return? That didn't work, none. And the thing about your warranty is you guys have it, we already ever have to use it. I know. And when we do, it's, there's no questions, no paperwork, no nothing, just hand it to you, and you guys hand us another one, so. It's yeah. It's a no-brainer to me. It's a no-brainer. There's nothing on your truck. There's nothing in your life except your craftsman tools, if you still have them. And I don't even know if you're allowed to go back to Sears or change them in anymore. I don't know how that works. But Sears is still alive. I thought Sears was dead. No, they're still there. I went there last night. Pretty close. They're pretty close. Are they pretty close to that? I'll wait until they're on their last breath before I go buy that drill. So, um, but uh, make an investment in yourself. So for a hundred bucks, and again, guaranteed, if you don't like it, you get your money back immediately. Who's buying one now? by Friday. It's an investment in yourself. How much do they get paid to sell a PCL? 7%. <clears throat> okay. Dole Lab code 1250. Um, sometimes it'll come down to 1150. So all right, I'm really good at math, okay? I am, that's one thing I'm really good at. I'm a decent dancer, I'm really good at math, and that's pretty much it, all right? But I know 7% of 1250 is about 100 bucks. So, so make an investment. One sale pays for it. And again, if you don't like it, send it back. Okay? And guess what? Then I have Brian, close your ears. They have to recommend it, talk to the customer, and pass it on to me. And then when I close it, they still get the commission. Oh! You've got a darling angel behind you. I'm ready to laugh. How much for the door? Um, it's usually 175. I'll do it for one and a quarter. So it's a great deal. Again, money back guaranteed if you don't like it. Make an investment in yourself for 30 days. And then if you don't like it, call me and say, I want to return it. And then we'll give you your full money back. Okay, so who's buying one? If you're not buying one, why not? If you don't, if you're not, who's going to sell one by Friday? Joe's going to install one by Friday. All right, because I'm here, because I'm here, all right, I'm going to um, I'm gonna give you whoever sells by Friday, whoever sells units by Friday, can I give them a couple more bucks? All right, I'm going to give $50 gift cards for every sale. Up On top Friday. of your commission. 50 bucks. Okay. So, if you... I'm going to do that for every sale by Friday. And I'm going to offer the personal use for 100 bucks for anybody by Friday. Make an investment in yourself. These products work. You just return any? I don't know why. Guys, I'll help. I'll help. If the money people are spending, let me tell you if, you, guys, if you guys bought something for that much money and it didn't work, who's not calling people up and going, give me money, just give money back? Everybody in here, me included. If I buy something for 50 bucks, I want my money back if it doesn't work. So, I mean, these people are spending a lot of money and it's 
providing them a solution. Compared to what? Do you know how many portable air purifiers are sold in the United States? Billions of dollars. People are finding solutions one room at a time because guess what? 5% of air conditioning contractors are offering whole house solutions. That's the fact. We are the biggest manufacturer in North America of our products. We're tiny. And it's because we're not selling enough whole house solutions to people like you guys. Because your homeowners aren't aware that they can have a whole house solution. That that fan and blower and that air conditioning unit can also provide comfort and solutions for asthma and allergy sufferers. And anybody with any pets, Brian's new smelly dog. <laughs> And guys, I know some of you rent. It doesn't matter. You take it with you. We have uninstalled them for customers installed them in their new house. I'm a renter, guys. I got divorced. A couple bucks left in my pocket. I'm a renter. I'm a happy renter, too, by the way. My toolbox is in a pretzel jar that's this big. I used to fill a garage. So I'm, I'm a pretty happy renter. But I will tell you, this magnet, this is a nice renter. Because he just comes right out with me. And all I do is just disconnect the wires. So. so make an investment. Use the box to your advantage. If you don't sell a lot of these, bring the box in for a week. Every call. Just bring it in. And if the homeowner says, why are you bringing the box in? Just say, oh, you know, this is a guaranteed solution. A lot of people really like it. We never, we never get one return. Take a look. I'm going to go check on your system. Leave the box. <clears throat> also, so that you guys know the price that we sell for here is where I used to work, that 1250 dual Avco was 1750 and a single Avco was uh, 1350 We sell it for what? Nine. Nine something. <clears throat> so just follow those other trucks around. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really good deal for the customers. And they sell. It's great they, they, they sell. They're probably, they're probably sell. close to leaders. Okay. Yeah. Look, you have to offer it, though. I'm a little unclear on Fresh Air is the company that owns everything, or is it yeah. APCO first? Yeah, so Fresh Air, and I'm sorry, I keep talking APCO because I'm used to doing APCO trainings, but um, it's my fault. Um, APCO is a brand of Fresh Air UV. Fresh Air UV is a business entity up in Jupiter, Florida, also named Triatomic Environmental. We're not running through anything, it's just these trade names have become popular. What we did is produce the Patriot private label brand for companies like you guys, to promote the product, just to alleviate some of the internet searches and, and price problems that you may have had in the field. And also, people really like the donation to a charity. Will people see the same product with a different name slapped on it? They will. They'll see APCO, and it'll look very similar to this with APCO, APCO. So if we were selling that. the regular door, APCO, it has, if you were to take that box in, it has a part number on there, customer Googles it. They can see the price. I mean, the price online sometimes is less than we buy it for. Um, that's the reason why that we choose to go with the page. Unfortunately, our wholesalers, and I love my wholesale friends, all right. but they've got other divisions that sell online, and I do my best to police it, but it's difficult. Because everybody's got a brother-in-law that wants to sell these products online. So I thought about it at one point. Oh, yeah, me so too. The Patriot, uh, Listen, but, we so overcame Patriot's that. private label brand. Customer bought it online, told us, nope, I bought this thing $400. You want to charge me $1,250. I said, okay, we understand. I can buy it. When can you install it? I said, understand. We're going to install it for you. It's going to cost $120 just to install it. There is no warranty. If we install it and it doesn't work, you have to send it back to wherever you got, wherever you got it from. Sure enough, we got out there to install it. It didn't even have a bulb in it. <laughs> the guy was end up, he was able to send it back, however he did that, and he ended up buying one for 1150 Because he wanted the warranty. <clears throat> We're not gonna warranty. We don't know anything about that problem. So your warranty, you're paying whoever. <clears throat> People love to have someone to blame. Right. Yeah. And that's as a as a you know wholesaler, that's we have the same problems with Honeywell. You know, if you go into Home Depot, just I try to go once a week just to look at prices. But the thing is, the difference is the warranty and the service that people are going to get. Because you got those do-it-yourself guys all out there, all over the place. 
to get out and, and they think that you know they're going to get they the same warranty. It. it doesn't. What you have here and the strength you have is to be able to take care of the customer, as opposed to they were lucky that went back and they actually got because these companies change, move, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and also push the fact that you're local, we're local, we're friends for 15 years. I mean, that's huge on a relationship side, that you're going to stand behind the product and you know the owners of the company and you visit the factory and you're trained every three to six months. So, um, One thing, just to touch base, so everybody gets this one. So I, basically internally mountable app, app go. Why? I, I, I like this product, okay, for our local market. I mean, yeah, we came out with this nice little duckboard mounting plate, which is cool, makes it easy to mount it. It looks pretty in the duckboard, but if I'm buying one, I'm buying the Apco Mag because I can have one light, I can stick it in my coil and drain pan, and I get all six cells just like I get on regular Apco. And now I don't have to have a light to coil and drain pan. It's all integrated the same one single lamp system. <coughs> so I love Apco Mag. If I'm buying one for my own house, whether I'm a renter or an owner, I'm buying this one. So that's your decision. If you don't sell an Apco. Where is that? Yeah, hey, which one is that? Uh, uh, which one is that as far as our pricing? Apco Mag, <coughs> Brian, just, we did, that's what we installed yesterday? We just, I can get the pricing on it. Okay. Uh, and it's featured here on the box. So you can show the customer that it's one of the models available. So, so uh, I, I like this. If you don't sell an APCO, we have these. We used to pass them around. We have them in a long time. Dale brought us some. OK. But if you don't sell an APCO, you put in a new system, you got duckboard, they say, we don't want one, just stick this on the duckboard where the APCO would go. It says, future location of APCO. <laughs> and I got to tell you, it's great. Because yeah. then they see it, but they don't have one. And it's got your number. So put your sticker right there. Yeah, I'm going to leave a bunch for you. And yeah, any, any air conditioning system you check out, stick these on there. So. Little used to be sticking on the bottom here. Down takes two seconds, but they changed the train. They made the drip bottom too big now. Yeah. This one's important, guys. So we love replacement lamps. Okay. We've been selling so many of these, we thought we'd be able to be done and sitting on the beach all day because there'd be enough replacement lamp sales. <laughs> but there's not, because we're not doing a great job of going out and asking for the replacement lamp sales or reminding the homeowner that the light, just because it's blue, doesn't mean it's still working. So with APCO, the smells come back, so it's easy. But a regular UV light and pull and drain pan, they kind of ignore it. So what you really need to do, and I don't know how you guys do it here, but make sure you register the product. Online. Okay, it's a great way for us to remind the homeowner to call you on the lamp replacement date. And we send it to the homeowner, a reminder to call CMI at your phone number, and we also send you guys a reminder of who we sent it to. I was up in Chicago, um, and I was talking to our biggest dealer up there. They've, uh, the guy said, hey guys, and you know, in his Chicago accent, it's like, hey guys, I got eight of these yesterday from the factory. I called all eight homeowners, and all eight wanted to schedule us to come out there to replace the light. It works, 100%. So do your best to try to capture land replacement sales. You're selling an APCO for $12.50? Dual APCO? Dual? So that's two lamps. So two replacement lamps every two to three years, over 15 years, you just tripled your sale price of your app I have a, all by just maintaining the product. I have a statement. Um, I, I know how people's minds work. Um, I don't believe we get commissions on the lamp replacements. No. So I know when guys are out there, they don't even want to bother with it because what's in it for them? You know what I mean? We're replacing the lamps? Yeah. It, it, it doesn't matter when we get the card, we register no, online. No, no, when we're when out the, like on when a When the card comes in, we go down the list. When the, it comes on a paper to right. us, we go down the list, see who has a maintenance agreement. Mm -hmm. So then when Tammy or Brittany are scheduled and they call, they say, okay, it's also time for your right. light to be replaced. That's when we're replacing. Right. No, but I'm more talking about like when we come across them in the field and you see that they're out or, you know, they're, you know a lot of guys. We don't, we don't, don't do commission on capacitors, so you're not going. 
Yeah, it's at your job, guys. They pay for these products. They want these products. It's at your job. Don't want to take this career seriously. Go flip a river somewhere. You got it. It's part of the job. It's career. It's their industry. You guys pay for school. I think people think, though, that, you know. Yeah. So if you can fight them off or something, that's a great time to offer this. Say, hey, you know what, I see you already have a UV light installed, I see the power supply is good, the lamp's out. So what we can do is replace the lamp, but also upgrade you to the lifetime motor control system. You never buy this again, homeowner, one-time shot. But the light has to be firing and in uh, and, and, and at a uh, peak output for it to work properly. So that's a great time to offer. This is an upstop, and then you get, they get paid on this, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's when maybe you should throw they that They get paid on everything. They get paid on Bluetooth, Apple, Google, 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 Term. Great lifetime. powerful term. Oh, okay. control. A lifetime. That's really. Lifetime. And it does work. Yeah. And it works. It does work. Salespeople like to talk all the time, so it's easy for salespeople. Technical guys, they trust you guys more. I mean, wouldn't you trust a me mechanic at an automotive place as opposed to the sales guy at an automotive place? So they trust you guys. So the, you guys, a lot of times, don't want to open a conversation or, you know what I mean. Because they're going to say, oh, well, you know, and then this, and they're going to complain. You're worried about the objections. So if you do words like, you know, I've got an opportunity here for you to do lifetime motor control. If you want to hear more about that, I'm going to go work on your unit. That's it. Just drop it in. And then I know that I'm sure the support that you have, that anything can be closed. And it's... The yeah. education goes a long way. It's told people, hey, when your bolts first came out, that's the technology they have. Now they've figured out this. Instead of having to buy a whole new thing for $1,200, $1,300, $1,500, bucks, you can pop this in for whatever. It does the same thing. It's a really cool old thing that they came right. up with. You know, it's like back in the day, you had a crank start your car, now you just turn a key. The same thing with this technology is advanced. Look how easy it is. Oh, yeah, great, pop it in. Sale. Right. It's that easy for us. And Brian, will you put a price together for that? We'll get it out to you guys. I got a question. Uh, the tail needs are all the plastic. What do you mean about doing that? That area. So, in the trains, we actually have a accessory kit that Dale Harrison came up with. It's awesome. And it actually uses this strong-ass tape with a shield, and it snaps on to, or I mean, sorry, it, uh, it's glued, that glue strip that Dale provides on that kit, it glues right onto your plastic drain pan, and then the lights snap onto it. It's a boatload cheaper than buying the train UV light kit. And guys, on a lot of those TAM units like that, it, right in the dead center on both sidewalls is a big metal block that they use to screw the top and bottom together. It's flat. So depending on which model it is, if the drip pan isn't too low, you can just pop it right in. That big metal, it'll go right between the blower and the coil. It's perfect. It just snaps in with the magnet.